Welcome to the La Brea Tar Pits Museum. Let's do a quick tour. So this is the American Schmether Tooth Cat. These are not uh, saber-tooth tiger cats, but similar, about the size of a modern day lion, look, give or take. Here we have a giant ice bear. It was believed that these bears stood up to 12 feet. And this skeleton here is actually a cast iron of the actual skull of the bear. So that is a very, very large bear. Here this way, we continue on, we have an image of a saber-toothed tiger cat feeding on, looks like a giant sloth. Um, the saber-toothed tigers were an apex predator during that time. Obviously, they're well known for their large uh, teeth. Uh, these are some of the animals here at La Brea Tar Pits uh, that are now extinct. We have the short-faced bear, the American mastodon, obviously the saber-toothed cat, the ground sloth, we have an extinct camel, dire wolves, the American lion, extinct western horse, this is an imperial mammoth, antique bison, and marine's giant condor. So let's take a look at some of the other things here. What's really cool, if we come down this way, we will find this is the actual tusk of a woolly mammoth that was found here at the La Brea Tar Pits. So it's a very, very large structure. It's on a hydraulic lift because I bet that thing weighs quite a bit of, has quite a bit of weight. And it's in a plaster uh, that protects it. Let's see what else we have here at the museum. If we continue down this way, we have different skulls of different types of animals. This one is the California saber-toothed cat. This is the antique bison. Then we have an extinct western horse here. We have a dire wolf. Um, and this is a wood spear tip. Okay. Wow. This is a scar radio carbon dating. This is how scientists uh, assume they come up with the dates for, I guess, when something was alive. It's kind of interesting. I wonder how accurate it is, but let's go on. If we come down to this way, we have more information about the saber tooth cats. This says learn something new. Um, this is, I guess, so this layout here is showing what the hip area looked like, hip dysplasia. So I guess this one had uh, a diseased hip, as you can see there, versus a healthy tip, which is there. So it's amazing how what we can learn from are just our fossils. This is a, a coyote skull fossil. It says, once we identify a fossil, we give it a unique number and report all its information in the database. Then we store the fossil by species and body part. OK. It's a saber-toothed cat hip. Fossils found over 100 years ago are still being studied today. So it's very interesting how the fossils help scientists determine so much. And these are other little fossils of other things. They have a golden eagle, a viper snake vertebrae fossil, which is very interesting. This is the preparation station with saber-toothed cat leg bone fossil. OK, here's how they clean it off. And this looks like a little excavation area. I guess this is some of the tools they use to maybe get down in there and find things. It says, we have uncovered millions of fossils from the La Brea Tar Pits and we are still digging. Okay, so very interesting. If you come in here, you have different people who work here uh, doing their thing. That looks like a saber, not a saber tooth, like a woolly mammoth um, jaw. And if we come here, it says, water is used to remove any excess clay from the surface of fossils. The amount of clay varies from one fossil deposit to another. So this is very cool. This is kind of what this area looks like here. If we scroll through. And yeah, this is, I guess, where they keep so many records of different things that passed away. It's very, very fascinating. It's a heavy duty microscope. Okay, these are more saber-toothed cat skeletons. We continue to walk down this way. We have all these skulls of the dire wolf. So I was speaking with someone here earlier, a volunteer, and he said one of the reasons that would make sense why there's so many of these uh, dire wolves here, because he said they have more than any other species, is that when large mammoths like the sloths or the mammoths got stuck in tar, 
these animals which hunt in packs would go prey on them but then they would get stuck in the tar and that's how they died so that's a dire wolf there this is a a layout and then if we continue on it kind of shows their the bone structure and what he told me is most of these bones are real some parts may be fake just because they have to kind of put them together but he was telling me most of these bones of these skeletons are real so it's cool if we come down to this area we have the bird section there's a lot of different types of birds this is a giant condor here this is a gurney eagle an american neopron i hope i'm saying that correctly California condor, it's a really big bird. You have the California turkey, and then the La Brea caricara. And if we continue on this way, we have the Brea condor, the Woodward eagle, the Occidental vulture, the La Brea stork, the Errant eagle, and then you have the fragile eagle. Okay. We continue on this way. We have the skeleton of a giant mammoth. So these mammoths could weigh up to 17,000 pounds and were up to 12 feet, sometimes larger, give or take. If we come down this area, this is interesting. It says, can you guess which animal left behind these droppings? So these poos represent different animals. So. This poo belongs to a saber-toothed cat. This poo belongs to a short-faced bear. This poo belongs to a giant ground sloth. This poo belongs to a western camel. And this poo belongs to a rabbit. Let's continue on and see what else we can look at. So as we continue on, you'll see here they have the jaw bones of two different mammoths. One's of a lower Colombian mammoth. The other one is a pygmy mammoth. This is the pygmy mammoth. These were smaller, obviously, than the, than the woolly mammoths. And they ate less food and were more agile and they lived more in terrain, which helped them out. So they lived on islands. Okay. Very, not too big for a mammoth. Okay, if we come here, we have a ground sloth. This was a small sloth, and they believe this type of sloth fed on leaves or low-hanging tree branches. It's called a Shasta ground sloth. Very unique looking animal there. If we continue on, we have the Columbia mammoth. That was a really, really big animal. That is the same thing as what we just saw. This is just what it would look like with its skin and everything intact. Large animal, beautiful animal, beautiful creation. People found ways to use asphalt. This is, I guess, how people maybe had used ways to hunt just a little thing of that these are different vertebrates that they found here so what's kind of interesting there was a dragonfly freshwater snails clam a dung beetle a water scavenger beetle so all sorts of creatures uh, got stuck here different types of plants that were found here cypress um, let's see here uh, a California walnut and a pine different types of plants that were found here this is cool this is a dwarf antelope. These are extinct. This is the reconstru reconstructed soft tissues of it. It says the initial step in reconstruction is identify each of the animal's bones and place them in a proper skeletal position. Okay. This is the saber tooth prey. The functions of the, okay, that was its brain. That's the brain of the saber tooth. You can obviously look at that massive jaw there. This is, looks like a juvenile, obviously a powerful, powerful animal there. And here in this area, we just have a lot of different bones of different types of uh, creatures here. You have the California saber tooth, the fused neck vertebrae, a dire wolf, uh, the antique bison. Are you We're kicking close. me out? Is it that time? Yeah, it's five o'clock. Oh, it's already five? Yeah. Okay. Um, I didn't, okay. You're welcome to explore the park here. Okay. That's I'll just film this and I'll, I'll leave right now. Okay. Thanks so much. Take care. Okay. All right, it's that time, guys. So, but yeah, these are some of the different different images here. There's all sorts of animals. This is the antique bison, and you have more of these uh, structures of these animals. I came in earlier, but it was so noisy because there was kids running all over the place. It was hard to get anything. What's kind of cool too is if you come here, it tells you what it's like to be trapped in tar. 
you can actually try to pull it and you get to feel how hard it is to be stuck in tar. So you can see how these mammals died. And then over here, we have some more skeletons of more mammoths there. Uh, and I think that's some type of a camel there. So if we continue on here, then this is a, a ground sloth and these sloths could get up to 20 feet uh, and they were herbivores. And that is, I guess, a replica of a skeleton there. So we continue on. There's a saber tooth tiger in there and then it kind of fades off and then it goes into like its skeleton formation, which is kind of cool. Let's see if it'll do it. Um, there it goes. That's, that's that kind of a little 3D thing. And then you have this giant, giant thing here. Um, and then as you come out, you have the store area. If you want to buy something, they have this whole area here. Uh, but yeah, that was essentially a 10 minute walkthrough of what you'll see if you come to the, uh, the tar pits. See you soon.